Hi and welcome to the Ruby Tuesday to another film review. We are reviewing The Babysitter, which is another Netflix original film. Okay, so The Babysitter is directed by Mick G. Uh, and if you don't know who Mick G is, he's done a lot of TV, but he probably is probably most well known for the Charlie's Angels films. So yeah. <laughs> He did those and they were popular when they came out but not so popular now if you if you go back and watch them they're really really cheesy so what is the babysitter it's a comedy horror it stars a young boy named cole um and his name is judah lewis and uh in real life he's a real boy i'm a real boy um and he's a 12 year old boy who is afraid of pretty much everything I'd say he's just a really really scared boy and um, and then he has a babysitter at and is played by um, Samara weaving her character's name is B and this is one of the parts of the film that I actually really enjoyed because the uh, relationship between B and Cole is actually something quite touching I thought that the, they have this montage of where they show them together and they seem to be genuine friends all right tomorrow night you me party what up say although um cole obviously has a major crush on her she's super beautiful the perfect babysitter so um his best friend across the road says that his babysitter is probably bringing a whole bunch of boys over and a whole bunch some boys over at night um and uh you know doing what babysitters do supposedly when you are asleep and you're a young kid that's what babysitters do and i guess he doesn't like that and so he forces himself to stay awake to see what happens why is he shirtless and uh <laughs> this turns turns from the girl next door film to comedy horror Three out of four people got an STD. I got two people's blood on me. You do the math. Um, and what I really like about this film is that it doesn't take itself seriously. A lot of horror films of this genre often take themselves too seriously. Hey. Through camera shots and quirky lines, um, the story tells you that actually they're not going to take this serious uh, too seriously. It does remind me of films like Idle Hands and Shaun of the Dead. You do care about the characters, but there are those scenes that are really bloody and gory, um, but it's always let up by comedy, which I think is a really, is a, it's a good mechanic to have in this sort of comedy horror genre. It is that girl next door meets Shaun of the Dead or, or Idle Hands type film. Oh my god, he shot me in the film! Um, I wouldn't say that the filming is particularly like special. There's nothing special about the film, the filming or the techniques they use. It is kind of standard. But the the relationship between Cole and B is actually something really good. And they, they, they play off each other throughout the whole film, even though she's now turned to be this killer and she's trying to kill him. And that won't spoil any more of the story that way. Um, it's a fun film to watch and entertaining but I didn't buy its premise of um, why she why B is actually evil that's your first question um, I would have liked some more background to it um, that that was probably my only real kind of thing about this film that I didn't like you guys suck um, there's so much in this film that nods towards other horrors that I think that the director McGee has had a lot of fun by kind of drawing in what makes a comedy horror and uh, yeah so I think that's that's my quick review it's really it's 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 a no it's an easy to watch film but it's not going to win any awards so I don't know if that clicks your switch but I'm Ruben thank you for watching and please click subscribe and like and chat to us in the comments because we love to chat to you what did you think are you going to watch it is this kind of your thing to watch and uh, I'll see you guys. I won't see you guys. I'll speak to you guys soon. <laughs> Bye.